Hey guys, welcome to day number three here on 24 Kevin TV. I'm your host, 24 Kevin, and this is Top 24 Thursday. Classic. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of 24 Kevin TV. So Thursday's themes from now on going forward is Top 24 Thursday. Each month is going to have a different topic, and I'm going to give you my top 24 favorite things. Why? Because it's what I want to do. So let's get started. So this month I'm going to be doing 12 and 12 because there's only two weeks left in the month. So this month's topic is my personal favorite P24K moments. Coming in at number 24, and mostly because it was yesterday's video, is the P24K launch video. As you all know, it was the very start of my videos. It started out on November 1st. This is the baby that started it all. If you want to check it out, hopefully I can annotate this. Annotate. Cool. So just click it, and you guys can watch the show from yesterday. But let's move on to number 23. Number 23 is the amazing beard that I grew. It made it all the way to day 221. I don't even know what day it started on, but this is what it looked like, and it just looked absolutely ridiculous. I loved it. People at work thought I was crazy, because I grew my hair too. But it was fun. I had nothing better to do, so yeah. Respect the beard. Coming in at number 22 is one of my personal favorite things about this show. The applause button. It doesn't work, and, well, to tell you the truth, it's a little bit of a nod to The Muppet Show. Anyone who's watched the opening knows that Gonzo's trumpet has never made the proper trumpet noise. So what if it's a nod to The Muppet Show? I love The Muppets. So sue me. Coming in at number 21 is I Have Nothing. I literally had nothing, so I kind of just made things up on the spot. And didn't really do much of anything. It's kind of a bad episode, but it's kind of funny to me. Simply because this is pretty much what I would go through on a daily basis, and it's what I'm going through again. Coming in at number 20 is my Just Dance Drunken Rampages. Yeah, I got a little bit too drunk and played some songs on Just Dance. Did alright. Unfortunately, I didn't record the screen, so no one could really see how well I was doing until I announced the score at the end. But I did a pretty good job of making myself look like a boob. Number 19 is something I had planned for a while. Well, I actually wanted to do it, but unfortunately it didn't pan out. It was the most amazing thing you'll ever see. For those of you that remember it, it was a huge Rube Goldberg machine that I had set up that didn't quite end as you guys thought it would. Oh, I really can't wait to upload that episode later. Coming in at number 18. Don't get me wrong, this video was terrible quality, but honestly, it's one of the biggest moments in my life. I know it may sound ridiculous, but it's the first time I've actually ever beaten the whole game of Mario 1. Well, granted, I didn't really beat it so much as use the warp zones, and I guess you can technically call that cheating, but it's not cheating because they put it in the game, and therefore, if it's in the game, it's not cheating. Yeah! Coming in at number 17, for some reason, it was one of my friend's favorite episodes. One of them couldn't stop laughing when they saw it, simply because it was far too honest. It's my Valentine's Day episode. It's basically the episode that I sat there and made a complete fool of myself and basically said why you should be my girlfriend, but unfortunately it really wasn't good reasons at all. The worst part is it was mostly the truth. Number 16 are my I Gotta Go excuses. My I Gotta Go excuses are pretty much synonymous with my show for anyone who's actually watched it the whole way through. Since the very first episode I've always done well, I gotta go, and, well, you'll probably see it later, and I always have an excuse to leave. Because I'm a very busy and popular person. That's what happens when you're a local celebrity. What can I say? <laughs> I can barely say this one because <laughs> it's too funny to me. Alright, so, this episode... Okay, so... <laughs> okay, so this moment is... <laughs> Damn it! Alright! Focus! Alright, this favorite moment wasn't so much the whole episode, but the reaction to the episode. <laughs> the episode was what guys think when they're on the phone, and my god, some people really hated it, some people really liked it, but the best moment is how much my mother hated this episode, just because of one line. She pretty much completely refused to watch my show after this episode, just because I made a little bit of joke about male genitalia and horse genitalia. And while you'll see the episode eventually, don't worry, it's coming back out. Let's not dwell on that right now. 
Coming in at number 14, and I know it's one of my good friend's favorite episodes I ever did, it's the radio show. It was the first ever skit that I really, really pulled off on this show, and I actually really enjoyed doing it, and I actually cussed in it. Why didn't my mom cut me off from that episode, then? Huh, who knew? That episode will be coming out next week on Way Back Wednesday, actually, so I can't wait to have you guys check that one out. And ending off today's episode is one of my all-time favorites simply because it was a lot of fun going up and doing this. It's a yearly tradition for one of my friend's birthdays. It was the Blue Mountain special! That's right, we go up to Blue Mountain every year for my friend's birthday. It's always, always a good time. And not to mention, we had people kicking ceilings. And of course, we had a hygiene lesson from Dagger at 3 in the morning. Anyways, that's all the time we got this week for Top 24 Thursday. Remember to subscribe to my channel! Like my videos, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at 24KevinTV. I think that's what it is now, at least. Anyways, for everyone here at 24KevinTV, I'm your host, 24Kevin. I gotta go, though. I gotta go start planning for Niagara Falls. We're leaving tomorrow. See you guys tomorrow.